be on wow with how my hair is feeling and it's doing. It's still extremely soft and I know what the product is right now. The fact that my hair doesn't feel super dry and it's been double bleached like in the span of like two months is just beyond me. Um, and it's not Olaplex. Like you guys need to stop talking about Olaplex because it's not it. We are actually gonna straighten our hair today and I got a new hair straightener which I'm super excited about. It's always been a mission of mine to do like the best soap press ever. I obviously have curly hair and I think a lot of us need to stop aspiring to have bone straight hair because I mean a lot of the times when you do that you're usually burning your hair and you need to do like a keratin treatment or whatever but anywho there are certain products and styling tools that you can use to achieve like the best silk press for your hair. Not doing ceramic straighteners anymore. That's a thing of the past. Titanium hair straighteners. Now this one here is by the brand Duval and they actually sent this straightener to me and oh, they're not paying me to say anything, whatever, but I did my research on titanium plates and they are extremely good for your hair. I don't know, it's talking about science and the negative ions releasing to your hair or something. And my hairstylist that I trust and I love now, Gladji, she said titanium is like one of the best. I should have a discount code for you guys. I'll leave all the information down below. But I like how thin this barrel is and the fact that it has curved edges so that you can actually curl your hair. It has like a swivel cord. The plates, I only use them on my bangs once and the plates are just so smooth, they don't pull or tug your hair at all. I don't have all the products that I need, Gladji is probably gonna beat me up. <laughs> Cause, but again, I'll do the full video, but the current products that I have right now is the Chi Silk Infusion and like a Tresemme heat protectant. Stretch my hair out, do I have a leave in? Uh, I just deep condi conditioned. I just deep conditioned heavily with the Amika The Care and this is really, really, really hydrating. So I think my hair should be okay. So I usually just try and stretch my hair like by braiding it rather than blow drying it because I just prefer to put less heat on my hair where I can. Um, so that like stretches out my hair like quite a bit. My stylist said, your hair is more prone to breakage now, so. Just gotta be gentle to 360. I feel like 410 might be a bit too much. We will play around with it and see. Personally, I'd like to use a brush. I feel like I need a softer brush than this because it doesn't need to be like a dense bristle brush. <laughs> okay. and boast about like doing one pass one pass this like with a straightener but it's like is that even safe like the heat has to be high enough for you to be doing one pass like that like granted like I didn't blow dry my hair so maybe if I blow dried my hair I could just do one pass even like being slow and controlled like you being slow and controlled to get that one pass like you don't want to be sitting on a section too long because you could be burning your hair, but all in all, so far, I love this straightener. Basically, the titanium plates have like an even heat distribution. It's really good for coarse, kinky hair. I do have a discount code for 70% off. <gasps> be good because most titanium straighteners are at least over $100, so isn't it like crazy how much like curly hair shrinks as well too? I'm, like still loving this color so much and I'm like so happy. I went brown. I could see myself doing this for a couple of years. Like, I, I like it that much. And, like, it looks very natural. Like, you know my hair is dyed, but just the way everything is blended and the shades, like, they look very natural. I was nothing at all. So, please, don't just to hear how they talk. 
back to four and no. You should hear how they talk. He might be Mr. Track and football. I done ran through them all. Then that nigga play the two. Just to watch how we ball. I ain't never home for no one. You pull up when I call. All the other niggas respect me. The strippers want to see me. Currently, like, really in a good mood in terms of, like, my personal style. I feel like, and I'm sure a lot of you have felt this way over the past couple of years. We haven't been going anywhere, dressing, going out. And I'm ready to style some outfits. Like I'm ready to, to step out. This is so exciting. I've been ordering like a lot of things. I have like a whole haul. Maybe I'll show you guys in this vlog or whatever. Cause I don't think I wanna do like a sit down haul with it. Something that I'm probably, I'm gonna return because I just, I feel like it's not gonna work. You know what this is? Oh, she's so thick. Oh, she feels so nice though. I don't know where my double D's are going in this. Because it was like on sale and it matches my headband. I'm going to try this on right now. What I feel like my titties are going to rip the Jacquemus off. I thought it was by a clip. Girl! <laughs> Guys. Like... But like the models, this is such a cute top though. I might like the long sleeve one better. If I were to actually leave my home, <laughs> I just want it to work for me too, okay? When you see those girls in the reels in this top, like they're just like, eh. and then just nothing, nothing falls out. Ugh, I don't know, maybe there's another way I can style it. I'll have to like think about it. I had a really good day today. Done. I don't know what I was saying in the last vlog clip, but today I got my lashes done and I stopped by Blaze Pizza. I usually get their red vine pizza with like the mo just the sauce, mozzarella, basil, and when you have like the shaken oregano on it, it's like the perfect skinny girl pizza. Um, but I tried their cheesy bread today, so I didn't finish it all because I had the pizza too. And I also bought their s'mores. Mm. I think everyone saw me in the restaurant and was like, is she gonna eat all that? I'm someone who is all about balance. I have learned to find healthy foods that taste good and I genuinely enjoy eating. But I don't... I don't deprive myself. And you have to enjoy life. Like, meals like this, I'll allow myself to eat like one to three times a week i'm um, totally fine that was rude they gave me like the marinara sauce but i think it's just their classic sauce but i think i like the so it's the garlic pesto cheesy bread i think i like this better with the ranch also too mm, aperol available in the lcbo now so i make my little like aperol spritz Perfect. I'm getting better at my ratios. Added too much like sparkling water. Um, usually I put a splash, but I put two splashes because I thought I put too much like Aperol. It's funny because I introduced it to like a, a few of my friends this summer on the cottage. Mm, it's so good. They're like, it's bitter. And I was like, and I read the Aperol bottle and it does say bitter on it. I don't know. It's, I guess it's an acquired taste, but it has like a sweetness to it. It's a bitter sweetness. I like it because it doesn't taste super sugary, but it's like kind of sweet. It's good. I really like it. Corporating mukbangs into my vlog. So I like watching people eat. This is busting right now. I need this. What else is bussin'? But it's like a healthy snack. But once I open it, I cannot finish it. This plant-based cheddar jalapeno puffs by PC, because PC is top tier. So good from the grocery store. Mmm, this is Big. <laughs> this bomber jacket is so cute. Like I haven't found a shape, a cute cropped shape like this from Montclair. Black, kind of fuzzy. 
bomber material and at first I was like I don't know if I like that but it's actually a vibe it's actually a vibe with it the only bomber I had like this that's like more of like a fall bomber is from Zara and like just sometimes the Zara one wouldn't give like it just would look less puffy in some areas and it just that's the thing like your outerwear and your footwear and your handbags when they look cheap they look cheap it just wasn't giving i really do like zara's um leather pieces though like their faux leather stuff looks expensive everyone's always asked me about my leather trench one guy from work was like oh my gosh is that sandra i was like no <laughs> not even but yeah so this is the bomber it's so cute um let me... but yeah it's just the perfect cropped length and then it has like this is from their ski line um and it's just so cute and then it says montclair by the neck strings so you can really like snatch the waist it's so so pretty it has like the different texture on the wrist here and then like on the inside has like that shiny and it has a pocket like women's jackets never has this but like the inside it has like that shiny material which is gonna match what i'm gonna show you next you guys want to see my Montclair collection I have a video on it but yeah I think honestly living in a place like Toronto you need stuff for like every temperature dust bags and we like that it comes with two of them because shoes get dirty and when you travel with them like you just want to be able to put them separately I think these are so, I need to do them properly. I think these are so sick. They kind of look like a moon boot, um, but a little less chunky because the moon boots I had tried on a couple of years ago, moon boots are thick. Like they're really meant for like when you're going like skiing or whatever, but these are like perfect for in the city. Um, and I like that they're like a matte kind of like finish and like it has like the puffy down so it's gonna insulate like heat really well uh, i'm really happy because i have my uggs which i wear in the fall and then also in the winter but uggs can get wet so i just feel like no uggs can't really get wet the suede ones um and i had given away my like rugged uggs that are meant for like earth wind and fire and they're just not the style vibe anymore so i just feel like these are really cute ah option like i like this little logo detail in the front with like the little drawstrings and then this all black logo in the back and the treading on the bottom looks pretty good as well it could be thicker but like it's it's not that bad um and then what's cute is it has this shiny finish at the top so it's gonna match a lot of the jackets that i actually have for winter or you can like totally pull this up and like make it higher and then have it cover it all together so oh, i will link these down below um for you guys and yeah i'm really excited to wear these i was also eyeing the um, louis vuitton ones because they have a pair of lv like down boots like this and they fold over and then once it folds over it has like the classic lv print which is so pretty but i guess in this sense it has the classic montclair nylon but yeah I don't know the lv ones are really nice i'm not gonna lie i bought these and i was kind of like should i have got the lv ones but i just honestly most of my winter outerwear is montclair anyway so i might as well match it i'm like so excited to wear so I went to aritzia today <sighs> aubrey she was so pretty like she was like stunning like drop dead gorgeous like girl what are you doing there like she should be doing modeling she probably does it part-time like i don't know but she was like stunning and she was so chillin' down to earth. Like, she was like me. Like, you know how a lot of girls are like, oh my gosh. Like, she was like, hey girl. And I was like, hey. <laughs> she was my vibe. Like, she was my vibe. Literally, she could tell me to buy anything I'd buy. It. So I got these socks. This pack of five. Five pairs. These are no-show. And I just want to start wearing, like, comfy socks every single day. So, like, the white versions are, like, cute, you know, peeking out of, like, uggs or whatever but they're not so practical when it comes to like wearing sneakers all the time it depends like if you're going for that you know show look but you need a no show option sometimes so these are just so soft like 
Is 25 a lot for socks? I just, I never, can I have a little bit of a rant? I just never understood why socks and underwear are so expensive. They're the smallest piece of fabric. Like, are you kidding me right now? But it does five dollars each. That's a lot. Five dollars for one pair of socks. But for these, they're worth it. Like, they're just the best in the game. If you guys ever shop at Aritzia in Toronto, don't. Go to the one in Vaughn. <laughs> Go to the one in Vaughn Mills because it's just like the best one ever. Like, all the girls there are just so amazing. And they're such a vibe. And that location is super big. I know they're like upgrading the one in Yorkdale right now. So it's going to be just like the Vaughn one. A uh, charcoal gray hoodie. And she showed me this one. Um, I was kind of like, oh, I wanted it to be a bit darker. But you know what? This color isn't that bad. I just wanted it to look like kind of faded in some places. And it does have that kind of washed out look of it. So and I want to wear them with like my gray cargo pants. This is going to be a vibe. This pink set. Guys, this is probably my all-time favorite pink. Like, this is, like, the perfect bubblegum type of pink. They call it Dark Bomb Bomb Pink. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, so I picked it up in the TNA Butter leggings, which are super soft. If you haven't tried TNA Butter, you need to. And in this pink, they only had the bra top. Um, there's no other top that they made, at least for the time being right now in this color so I'm like you know what fine I'll get the bra top and wear like an oversized hoodie on top of it sky blue set that I have that I usually wear with like the gray sweater is like bike shorts and I can't really wear that now it's too cold so I'm glad I have like a cute color to wear this long sleeve t-shirt fits so well I really like the cut of this it's so so cute and it's that nice smooth cotton because so many people do rib stuff and I'm like I'm tired I'm over it Oh, I had ordered something. I got another Divinity. I had to. Like, Aubrey was like, yeah, just try it. And I was like, girl, can you not? And then I was like, all right. They, I had tried on this in the medium. And I usually can fit the Divinity jumpsuits in a medium. But I've noticed that once I get the mediums and I wear them throughout the day, they stretch out and they're just not as, like, you know? So I size down now to the size small in the divinities, and I think all of you guys should do that too, because even the girls there were just like, no, you should size down. Um, yeah, just so it like fits more snatched, you know? I also have some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. You want to open that together? This is a long segment. But I don't know, I might like start doing like long vlogs, whereas I was like, I usually like to keep my vlogs 10 to 20 minutes, but... I don't know. I personally like to watch a long vlog because where am I going? Nowhere. Like, this thing is so cozy. And then I have to go to the grocery store after work. So this is the grocery store fit. Pretty little thing, yeah? I try and limit myself from ordering from this place because they let me down. They be letting me down. And I ordered before I even got here, they were letting me down because they refunded a denim corset top that I... Oh my, am I not even in focus right now? Hi. I refunded a denim corset top that I had. Purchase. It's probably not in stock, so, so annoying. I guess I'll just end up having to buy the $300 one I want. But, like, side note, look at how cute this, like, little Evian water is. I didn't know they made them this small. I love Evian water, like, swaps me babes. Like, they're probably, like, my best in terms of, like, simple packaging and, like, the taste of the water. So not piss me off. Oh, it's a skirt. It's a skirt. Okay, so this is, like, because I thought this was a top. This neckline looks like a top, no? But it's, like, a V maybe fit. Leggings and oh yeah no way. Okay, so this is very snatched. It's like very room's a mess. Ignore that. But I can one not to wear it not with crop tops but like full length t-shirts like that. So you'll just see like a peak of skin showing. It's not a bad option. Pretty good. 
do you see this this looks like a taupe in the photo it looked like charcoal gray this might be cute actually okay this is cute the color is accurate and it's a brown skirt like what i'm wearing right now basically it's not like the v cut but it has like this seam down the front this is cute Please, it looks cute and it feels horrendous. Like, should I return? Maybe it'll be warm for winter. I'm so annoyed. You see, this is why I spend. Uh, I remember I was having a conversation with my friend the other day, and he's like, "You look happy, like you changed," and I'm like, "Yeah, because I fully accepted how bougie I am," and like. This is why I like spending money on things because it works. A majority of the time it works out. Because me spending a hundred dollars once, twice, three times to get it right, it I end up wasting so much money. Okay. So this is a black corset. It looks good on camera. In person it actually looks good too. So this looks like <laughs> This looks like one of those corsets that, like, one of those, like, Caribbean grannies or aunties wear to church. And it's funny because now I'm really taking in, they be wearing corsets. Like, the straps are just kind of a little bit too thick. I like that it comes long. And it covers, like, the pouch. Okay, it's actually cute. Yeah, it snatches you because I wanted a corset that covers and isn't too revealing. Yeah, okay, you can go on. I just need to, someone to like zip me up. I look juicy in this, so I'm kind of a little bit happier. <laughs> like the brown actually is really flattering. Okay, fine. They kind of redeem themselves. Okay, this is actually better on. Like I could probably, and it's long enough. Okay. But this with like a gray oversized hoodie um, would be cute and like white sneakers. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe it's good to have it warm and fuzzy so it's good for the winter. I'm so happy because my hair is actually still very moisturized. Like this is my hair currently with no product in it. Like they're clumped. They're a little bit limp because I straightened my hair, my hair was straightened. But like they're not super frizzy. The color looks good in the curly state too. I'm really happy. Like it still looks light, but natural at the same time. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it, but yeah, I'm gonna style my hair curly. This you need. Okay, I need a t-shirt to put over my shoulders. Leave-in, Camille Rose coconut water leave-in. Miel, Miel, pomegranate, and honey custard styling gel. Custards, honestly, are better for your hair in terms of, like, moisture. Gels, they believe in that alcoholic dry cast. Even if they say no alcohol, they dry out your hair. And it's not good for your hair to be like that on, like, a weekly basis. Wash and goes are your go-to, so. Oh, I'm so happy with it like this already. So imagine it dry. Like, I don't know if you can see. Like, it still looks light. I don't know, my camera, it, it looks darker. I'm really, really happy with how defined my hair is. It's, it feels so soft. I need to ask her what she used in my hair because, yeah, it doesn't feel like I bleach my hair. Obviously, she had to get rid of like that ready, those ready tones from the previous stylist. I will do an updated curly hair routine um, 
Also, I want to talk about this. I feel like this is helping my curls a lot through all the chemical stuff. Amika the Cure. This is a good, this is a good one. But I do need to talk to G and ask her what I need to be use, using now because my hair is not virgin and I need to be using products that's going to help it. Not all natural products can help chemically processed hair. So I need to find the right stuff. But for now, we're thriving. And like, there's also like, a new technique I'm using for my wash and go so I kind of want to talk about that in a full in-depth video. I will, I promise.